Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called A Killer Mystery by Taco. Um, so before I get on to this puzzle, I do want to basically address some of the discussions I've had with people over yesterday's puzzle, which was the 1000th video on my channel. First of all, while I, I massively struggled with that puzzle, that's not the fault of Rockrat Zero. That is absolutely the fault of me. Um, it was a puzzle that was created specifically for me. And while I was getting flustered with my own inability to solve that puzzle, I, I, I was not coping very well with that situation. Um, there are reasons for that, and that is not something that is Rockrat Zero's fault at all. Um, but you come to this channel, I hope, for me being a bit genuine, or at least being genuine, and that's what I was trying to do. Um, what you saw was me struggling genuinely with that puzzle. So, um, yeah, uh, that's what you got. Um, and I'm going to try and be as genuine as I can. Um, I do edit my videos occasionally. Um, that, that's going to happen as well. Um, I'm here to provide appropriate content. Um, yeah, I, I, sometimes I will call out when that has happened. Um, yeah, it's, uh, just, I, I definitely was struggling with medical situations. I have been a lot recently. My medical situation is not as good as I would like it to be. But uh, yeah, um, thank you Rockrat Zero and everyone who has supported the channel over the last 1,000 videos and three years. Let's have a look at A Killer Mystery by Taco. So uh, what do we have with this one? Normal Sudoku rule supply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, uh, complete the row, and in every column, the digits one to nine get placed without repetition. Digits in a cage sum to the uh, number given in the top left cell and may not repeat. So basically, these three um, digits will sum to 12, these four will sum to 10, uh, these three will sum to 18. I'm not sure where we could repeat digits anyway in this, but anyway. Um, and then digits separated by a white dot are consecutive, digits separated by a black dot are in... Uh, have a two, one to two ratio, um, so one is double the other, and not all dots are necessarily given. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, I did notice these sum to 10. The minimum digits I can put in four different cells that all see each other by killer or column logic is one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four sums to 10. I have the same here, one, two, three, four. This is an 11. Now, the minimum is 10, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. In order to get to 11, I need to increase the value by 1. So I have to increase one of those digits by 1. If I increase the 1, 2, or a 3, I'll end up with a duplicate. So this is 1, 2, 3, 5. But it means there's a 1, 2, 3 here. This is a 4, so this is a 3. There's no 3 or 4 here. This is a 1 or a 2, so this is a 1, 2, or 3. Um, the 1, 2, 3, 4 here looks down, meaning that I can't put a 1, 2, or a 3 here. This is the 5, so there's no 5 here. The 5 is only consecutive with the 4, so I can take the 4 out of those. This is now a 1, 2, 3 triple. But if this is a 1, this is an 8, a 2 means a 7, a 3 means a 6. Actually, I know what that digit is. I don't know it yet, but I can figure it out. Because if this box will contain all of the digits from 1 to 9, if you add those together, you get 45. But 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 9 is 27, plus 11 is 38. This is a 7. So this can't be a 7. So this can't be a 2. And the reason this is a 7 is because I need to get the total up to 45. And if these are 38, 45 minus 38 is 7. Oh, this is a 1, 2, 3. If this is a 1, this would be a 2, and that cell would be broken. If this is a 2, this would have to be a 1 or a 3, and that cell would be broken. So, because, well, basically, this is a 1, 2, 3 triple. If this is a 2, this would have to be a 1, 2, 3, and, I, and if this is a 2, 1, that's broken. Uh, 3, if this, is a, uh, if this is a 2, 3, then these are both 1, and that is broken. 3 would make that a uh, if this is a 3, 2, then these are both 1, that is broken. This has to be a 4, with that being a 3, and there's no 3 there. The three makes this the one, so this becomes the two and the one. The one makes that the eight. Okay. Now, if this is a one, this would have to be a two. If this is a two, this would uh, this can't be a two because this would have to be a one or a four, and that doesn't work. If this is a three, this is a six. A two here would mean a nine. A six here would mean a five. Four here means a five, which means this is nine and two, and two has to go with one, and there's no one in any of these. 
Two here would mean one, but it can't be, or four. Three means six. So this is four or six. This is a very nice break in. This is a minimum of five. How do I 14? But I know what these are. One, two, three, and six. Three here would need to, it couldn't go next to um, two, so this would go to a four. Six. Ah, this can't be a six, because if this is a six, this would have to be a five because it couldn't go up to seven. It'd have to go down to five. And there's no black dot relationship that works with a five. It'd have to be two and a half or 10, which doesn't work. So this can't be a six. This is the three, this is the six. Six can't go down to two, so it goes up to four. Four goes to two or eight. And this is a minimum, this is a four, and this is a minimum of five. But the minimum these could be is a one, two pair. So the minimum these could sum to is seven. So this is a maximum of seven. So this is five, six, or seven. And these are a maximum of five. If this is five, four, this can't go higher than five. If this is, so this is three, four, or five. So these are all from one, two, three. And there's no one there. One, three, I'm not sure, but this is a one, two, three triple. There is a one in one of those two. There is a three in here though. So this can't be three because the one, two, three triple puts three in here. So the minimum here is four. So the minimum here is eight, which means this can't be a seven. This is one, two, four. What am I even looking at? A seven minimum is one, two, three. I have to increase one of them by one. I can't increase the one of the two without causing a duplicate. This is one, two, four. This is one, two, three, which are the absolute minimums. Probably something about these cages I would know if I am was better at. Knowing the totals of these, like these middling cages, like there's no four in this 14 cage or three. Now, if I use the killer calculator, that might help me out, but I'm not sure. Oh, this two looks like making that the eight. So this is a triple. What is it? Five, six, and nine. Now, if this is nine, this would have to be eight, and that's broken. So nine to eight would mean these are already 17. So that doesn't work. So this is five or six. So this is four, five, six, or seven. Now, if this is seven, six, I'm already at 13. This would have to be one. I think that's okay. This is a two, three pair. So these are all four, five, six, seven. That's interesting, I think. Maybe. Eight is in one of those two. I can see there's something going on with the Fistimafel ring, but I don't want to use that if I can avoid it because I find it messy and I don't want to have to use advanced logic if I can avoid it. Four is not in, right, this is a four. Four and four are looking into here and I can't put a four in a six cage. That's a four. So these have to sum to 14. Now, I can't use nine, five. I could use eight, six. I can't use seven, seven. So these are six and eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven and nine. I'm not sure how to use that. This one, of course, makes this two and this one, which means this isn't one. Right, so this is a two, three pair. So these are two, three, four, which is nine. So this is a five. So... This 19 cage doesn't have, if it doesn't have a three in it, there's no one, two, three, four, or five. So this would be six, seven, eight minimum, and six, seven, eight is 21. So there is a three in the cage, but not there. 
So with the three in the cage, I then need two digits that sum to 16, which is seven, nine. This has to be three, seven, nine, because I can't use eight, eight. So this is three, seven, nine. There is no three there. That's cool. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. These are six and eight. There's no three there. That's the three. Of course, these are six, seven, eight, nine. These are all six. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five means this is six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five means this is six, seven, eight, nine. So these are six, seven, eight, nine. So these are two, three, four, five. But I need to make 12 here, which has to be three, four, five. Five, four, and three the maximum digits I can use. So this, this is a two, which means these have to sum to 13, which is six and seven. That's very clever. So there's no six, seven there. These are eight and nine. That's very clever. The two here looks down saying that's not a two. I've definitely missed a trick though. There is a nine in one of those. But I can do the same here. These are all six, seven, eight, nine. And these are one, two, three, and five. But I need to make nine out of this, which has to be one, three, five. Basically, these digits here sum to. Uh, 1, 2, 3, and 5 is 11. So these digits sum to 11. With those summing to 9, that digit has to sum to 11 minus 9. That's the 2, and there's no 2 there. This is 1, 3, 5. That 2 takes 2 out of there. This becomes a 2. These are 1, 3, 5. The 3 here looks down saying that's not a 3. This four made this six, which makes that three, which makes that two. The three looks up making that two and that three. There's no six in any of these. This is a five, nine pair. There's no five there. That makes this six, which means this is either five or seven. So if this is six, five, this is a three. If this is six, seven, this is a one. And it can't be a three. That's a one. This is six, seven. There's no six or seven here. Oh, the, and the four makes that the five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a nine, which means this is the seven. This is the nine. The seven looks back, making that the six and that the seven. The six looks down, making that the eight and that the six. There's no six here. There's no eight here. I'm sure there's more I can do. I just haven't seen it yet. The eight looks up, making that the nine and that the eight. The eight looks across, making that the six and that the eight. There's no seven or eight down here at all. So I can take seven out of there and seven, eight out of here. This is six, nine. So I can take six and nine out of those. This becomes seven, eight, looking across, making that the nine and that the seven. I love these. That is so cool. The two looks up, of course, saying there's no two there. The one takes one out of both of those. So this is four, two, and one. The one looks down taking one out of those. So this becomes the one, which means that's the three and that's the one. The three looks back making that the five and that the three. The three looks up taking three out of there, but this four looks across taking four out of both of those. So this becomes the five, the three, and the four. This is so cool. This eight says that's not the eight, that's the eight. So these are 21 minus eight, which is 13. No, yes, 13, which would be seven, six, which doesn't work. So it has to be four, nine. So this is the five and this is the missing seven. The nine makes this the six and this the nine. This is 11. So this has to be the seven to get the total up. This is the eight. Beautiful. These, one, two, three, four, seven and nine. The four and the seven here makes that the nine. I take the nine out and I'll use that four to make that the seven and that the four. One, two, three, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. There's a six and an eight there, so I put the five there, take the five out. Not sure how to resolve the six, eight. Let's have a look at this pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Use the seven to make that the nine and that the seven. I need to put a one right there. This is a triple, which is five, six, and eight. I can use the eight to take the eight out of those. That becomes the eight. The five makes that the six and that the five. And the six looks across making that the eight and that the six. And that is the solution to a killer mystery by Tarko. Um, what was the, how long? 28.2 days, 626 solves. It's had a, a fair bit of attention in the last month, but that was really fun. I loved these. The six, seven, eight, nine quadruples in those, which I possibly should have accept, expected, but didn't. And I possibly could have figured it out a different way, but I really loved that. Once I got this one, that was probably forced to be, yeah, that was forced to be a minimum. I don't know, but still, I really enjoyed that. That was a nice discovery. And I'm sure there'll be people in the comments below, you'll you'll find out about 12 hours after this goes live, saying, if you'd used the Fistimafel ring, you would have been able to tell what these digits were, and that would have opened up with the cages and blah and blah and blah. Don't care. That was, that was fun that way. I enjoyed solving it without using that. That was great. Thank you, Taco. Great puzzle. Um, and hopefully the next, let's hope that 800 of the next thousand are at least that good. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, sorry about me losing it at the end of yesterday's puzzle, but hopefully you enjoyed the puzzle. It was phenomenal. And as always, good luck with your solving.